Leadership. Community service. Aerospace and STEM. Emergency services. Wingmanship. This is the Captain Bud Jackson Composite Squadron. Hello everyone, I'm Cadet 2nd Lieutenant Javen Pinto from the Captain Bud Jackson Composite Squadron. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own Windows 10 VM. A virtual machine is an emulation of a computer system. In layman's terms, it is a program on a computer that works like it is a separate computer inside your computer. You can use this VM to help prepare your team for the next Hour Patriot season by creating vulnerabilities yourself in this VM for your team to figure out. There are three easy steps to making this VM. First, downloading VMware Workstation Player. Second, downloading a fresh copies of Windows 10. Lastly, setting up the virtual machine. Alright, so the first step is downloading VMware Workstation Player 15. So head over to VMware.com. Alright, so once you're on the VMware website, go over to Downloads, Free Product Downloads, Workstation Player. Once the place page loads, click the preferred version for your OS. I'm using Windows, so I'll be downloading the Windows version. Let you start downloading. While that is happening, Open another tab and search a Microsoft creation tool. That is how we're going to download Windows. So click on the first link, it should be Microsoft.com. Click download tool now. Alright, so once VMware is done downloading, click open file. Click yes. Okay, so as you can see, VMware should start running. It's preparing VMware Windows Player for installation. Alright, so once the installation is done, it should show you the player setup. Click Next. Once you have read the terms and agreements, I've already read this before, so I'm going to click Accept. Uh, I would recommend downloading this enhanced keyboard driver, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to skip that part. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, you can do this on your own if you read the terms. And it's always good to check product updates on startup. You can select your preferred shortcuts, click next afterwards, and begin the installation. Click finish and now VMware should have been downloaded so you can click the Windows button VMware Workstation Player 15. We will not be downloading the Pro version as it costs money and we don't need all the features that it provides. You're going to select use VMware Workstation Player for free for non-commercial use or if you have a key you can select that option. Click finish and VMware should open up. So after VMware is done downloading, the next step is to click create a new virtual machine. Uh, I will be installing the operating system later. The virtual machine will be created with a blank hard disk drive. Next, Microsoft Windows, Windows 10, 64 bit. Name whatever you want it to and select the location of your file. I would recommend putting the 60 gigs just like how VMware suggests. You can choose whether you want it to store into a single drive or multiple files. I like to put it in multiple files. Customize hardware. I like to put my memory from 1 gig to 2 gigs, so 
2048. Sorry, there's an error. 2048. Sorry, it was just wasn't working. Try that again. You can select, use this wheel right here and select your. So after this is done, click finish. And your VM should have been created. So now we had downloaded the Microsoft creation tool. So head over to your and open the file. Click yes. This process might take a while. Once you have read the licensing terms on your own, I've read this before, so I'm going to click accept. Click create installation media, USB flash drive, device, DVD, or ISO file. It will automatically show you the recommended options for your PC, but choose Windows 10 64 bit. Next, and click ISO file right here. That's what the type of file that we need. Click next, select your location, and just start downloading. Alright, now that the Windows ISO file is done downloading, you can just click finish. And this is going to be another loading process. After this is done, head over to your VMware, uh, click edit virtual machine settings. Go down to CD slash DVD SATA. Click use ISO file. Go through your files and select where you downloaded it. And click OK after you have selected the ISO file. So now we, that we have uploaded the ISO file, click play now. The VM should start loading and you should see the Windows logo. After you're into the VM, continue with your sign-in process and you're all done. You just create your brand new VM.